Hi, it's Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living Seattle. Thanks for joining me today. We are doing our Golden Thread of Truth curriculum, and this week's lesson is on creative play, and we are going to be talking about the Laughing Buddha. So have you ever seen a ceramic statue of the Buddha, perhaps in a Chinese restaurant or in a store for sale? You maybe even have one at your home or in your garden. And have you ever wondered why the Buddha is laughing? Well, the Laughing Buddha reminds us that to be happy, we need to have a loving heart. A big heart gives you tolerance. It helps you greet each day with joy and all people with gladness. It helps you tolerate a great many things with a big happy smile that reaches your eyes and your heart. So Buddha says the best way to solve a problem we might have with someone else is to have a warm and loving heart. By not being resentful, bearing grudges, only then are we able to smile like the Buddha. Only then can we be truly happy. So how to become the greatest person in the world? Buddhism teaches that being the greatest is an absolute achievement free of comparison. So what does that mean? It means that to be the greatest is not an achievement that can be attained through competition. You can't win greatness, but you can achieve it. That means everyone can be the greatest. So here's an example. For a healthy ant to successfully carry one grain of rice is a great achievement. For a healthy horse, to successfully carry one grain of rice is not at all that terrific. The ant has put his best effort into his job. It has fulfilled its purpose as an ant. When the truth is achieved, the ant is no longer just an ant. The ant has moved into the realm of truth. It has become the greatest ant in the world. So Buddhism teaches that the person is successful, not because the person is better than someone else and not only receives, say, a higher grade or a test or won a gold medal at the Olympics. It's the true achievement is coming from not having competition or comparison. So every single person can become the greatest person in the world all at the same time. So the Laughing Buddha reminds us that to be happy, we need to have a loving heart. So try to remember that. So as you look at someone and smile, do it with a loving heart. Now, a fun way to share this with your younger children is to do a craft where you can use their thumb and if you have some paint or if you just want to draw a picture of an ant, but do a little thumbprint and make an ant out of it. And then take a grain or two of rice and glue it on. It'll give them that visual reminder of the story of the ant being his truth. So thank you for joining me. I hope you can join me in person here at the center. We do youth program for kindergarten up at 11 a.m. But if you're unable to come into the center, then make sure you subscribe below so that you're notified when these videos get posted. And thank you for joining me. Give me a call if you wish. Bye.